Hello everyone, in front of you, you can see the new 2016 version of WD My Passport and please take a note that unlike the 2014 or 2015 version, WD this time has omitted the Ultra from the tagline so this new hard drive is just called as the My Passport. So I got the 2TB version from Amazon and you won't believe I got it for a very good price very good price means very good discount as a part of lightning deal I bought it for 6449 but currently the price is 7787 and in addition to that I got 15% cashback as I have paid uh, using my SBI debit card so I didn't get the cashback yet but if I get it it would be around 960 so if I take that in account the price of the drive will be coming down to 5400 and something so you won't be getting any external hard drive for 5000 and uh, 5500 in the market so i got it for a really good discount now before purchasing it i went on uh, reading some reviews from uh, some reputed websites and uh, from there i got to know that there was no no actual uh, improvement in performance as compared to the previous versions uh, except a few mbps of uh, transfer speed which is very negligible actually and also i have checked the amazon.com us amazon website where a few people have given their reviews and they dislike this pointy edges actually which I didn't actually dislike I like this rectangular form but the fact is that I uh, I as well as the others who have reviewed have disliked this material you can see this part this upper part is very glossy very shiny but this is a fingerprint magnet and also a scratch magnet so if you use it extensively for a couple of days you will be getting scratches no doubt in that now this bottom part is uh, like matte finish so you you don't have to worry about the bottom part but when you get scratches on this top part this will definitely look ugly now 2015 version was also scratch proof on the uh, sorry not scratch proof actually scratch magnet um, on the top but it had some uh, it had a matte finish in the bottom uh, so you could have rested in on any surface without getting any scratches but look at this one the same glossy thing in the back panel also you get this cushion bumps but they are of no use until and unless you put this uh, you keep this drive on a table so highly disappointed with the material and uh, they made i like this design actually but the material i don't know why wd chose to do that they could have used this material everywhere i would have liked it more whatever uh, with this hard drive i got this as usual short usb3 cable for cable yes usb3 cable and uh, one more thing is that uh, with this hard drives we will be getting uh, cables with matching colors like if you buy a blue colored hard drive you will be getting a blue cable and uh, unlike the previous versions the packaging was actually good you, I got this uh, protected with this cardboard shells along with this package this was the outer one so unlike the previous uh, versions which used to come in uh, transparent plastic covers and half of the drive could be seen uh, from outside the package and this was uh, the protection was good for this actually so now this video will be having a second part where i'll be uh, moving on the performance and i have done a uh, a few performance tests I'll be sp um, telling you about the temperature and how it works actually so let's move on to the next part
Welcome to the second part of the video and you can already see that I have started the crystal disk mark and the sequential read write uh, test is under progress and also I have opened the task manager where you can see the real time speed writing speed and the read speed you can see that uh, the writing speed may, uh, can go up to 122 mbps and please note that uh, currently my drive is fully empty and uh, I have formatted it and the crystal disk mark the read test is already done and it clocks at 117.1 mbps and uh, the write speed is under uh, test is under progress and it clocked at 116.8 mbps so uh, there is no much uh, performance improvement as compared to the previous generation of uh, my passport ultra the 2015 one which i tested to uh, tested and it clocked the right the write speed clocked at 112 mbps so there is no significant improvement in the uh, transfer rate now uh, let's move on to the next segment where i'll be uh, again testing the speed uh, after after filling the hard drive uh, up to 30 percent so let's move on to the next segment sorry it's not 30 percent it's 42 percent my disk is now 42 percent filled and you can see there is a drop of speed of uh, nearly about 17 mbps like 14 percent drop in uh, read and write speed so this is the last test and you can also see that the drive is now 54 percent filled and also there is a significant drop of transfer rate by 7 mbps and initially when the drive was empty we saw that the transfer rate was around 117 mbps and now as the drive is 54 percent filled uh, the transfer rate has gone down to 93.33 percent so uh, the performance is down by 20 percent and it's quite a bit not good and about the operating temperature it is around 45 to 46 degrees centigrade which is absolutely okay until and unless it reaches to uh, towards 50 degrees centigrade and another drawback with this product is that wd has reduced the warranty period earlier the drives used to come with three years of warranty but from this one you will be getting two years of warranty and i have registered it today that is 2nd of november 2016 and i got my warranty i registered my product with the utility softwares and uh, i got the warranty till uh, 5th of november 2018 so this is all thank you for watching this video hope it helps to choose your hard drive please do subscribe i know i don't have many subscribers but still uh, i hope your your support will be helping me to develop more and more. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.